Are you fed up with hitting really poor fairway woods from the ground? I've got a tip for you. This is so good. That's going to help you start ripping your fairway woods, which will help you on long par fours and par fives. And it's so simple to practice. Anyone can do it. Let's get hitting some better fairway woods. Remember, if you like the information in this video, hit the like button down below. Also, I have a free weekly newsletter down there. The links to follow. Come and join the learning community. We're all learning a lot together and it's exclusive tips that you don't see here on YouTube. So to kick us off we need to grab a head cover and a spare club. So I've got my fairway wood here, I'm going to get an iron out and I've got a head cover. What this drill is going to deal with is the issue with fairway woods for so many golfers is that they either bottom out too early which makes them hit the ground and duff it or they bottom out too early and the club jumps and then they're hitting it out the bottom of the club shooting it really low, goes no distance and they think I should have just hit my six iron or they absolutely top it and it just rolls out in front of them and that's like demoralizing and also sometimes they just don't get the club to the bottom of the ground it's a long club they don't feel comfortable with it so it actually doesn't bottom out anywhere near the ground again leading to real heavy fins and top but we can fix that with one simple little training device so did you know in the comments down below did you know you're meant to be hitting your fairway woods slightly on the way down so with the club passing slightly on the way down that's something that lots of golfers don't fully understand they're actually trying to sweep it up it's not on a tee it's on the ground we're talking about from the ground here and you need to be getting that slight downward of an angle of attack so you can get it out of all these situations if you're trying to hit it on the way up, well, you get it out of the bottom of the club because the ball's on the ground. You can't get below it. So this drill is this simple. I'm going to put my head cover here and then I'm going to put my iron over the ball here. Now, if that head cover doesn't want to stand up, you could use a long tee. Anything that props that club up some, you know, just a bit from the ground. Like mine is, what, nearly a hand's palm's height from the ground or a little bit of my grip. Let's call this, what, four or five inches at the most? You could be lower if you're super confident. Now, what this is gonna do is give us some focus of trying to land the club lower so we're not coming in and hitting the top. You've gotta do it at the end of the club. Don't start doing it here because obviously the shaft will hit. So you can see where my ball is there. I would move it a little bit to the end. That's at the end of the club. Now, I've got something to focus on trying to get that club to bottom out more to the ground which is a great starting point for people who just simply don't get that club leveling down near that ground or getting anywhere near that ground to hit the ball now the next thing it does which is fantastic if you're someone who bottoms out early so you're back here or that you turn back here and you try to bottom out the club or you're a thrower first you're going to notice that you start moving the ground the mud brushing it before the club so what i want you to start doing address an imaginary ball which is under the club and do a few practice swings where you feel like you're moving that ground a little bit forward of that club. Now, it doesn't matter if you start bottoming out, say if the ball is under the club here and you start bottoming out just here, it's absolutely fine. It's when you're catching here and here, it's gonna be a real disaster. But we want the predominant movement of the grass, the brushing to be kind of here to up here. This is what's going to move low point in the right place. This is what's going to move low point in a position to help you hit the ball more up the face to get better launch, lower spin, longer shots, and better struck shots. And when it comes to trying to hit down and forward of that ball, what's doing it for you? Is it that you try and move your pressure forward? Is it that you try and feel that you hold on to, say, trail wrist a little longer than let it go? Is it that you try and get out of your vertical forces, so come over straighten up lead leg and coming through this way a bit better whatever it is for you because it'll be different for so many golfers hold on to that feeling and we need it happening as you hit the ball really good way of testing some of these put your feet together now if you have your feet together and you feel like it's much easier to do some swings where you're moving the ground early you're probably someone who wants to go back here and stay here do some swings where you set up to my imaginary ball so for this i'm not going to hit this ball put that there and then just bring this foot in so it's just behind the ball. Back swing, step and swing. If that moves you forward, well, maybe you're not so good at getting across. Your fairway woods with this drill can be totally transformed. And you can do this and hit shots. Just remember to not be where the shaft hits the club. And then you're going to actually hit shots, trying to move forward of that point with impact. And that is a beautifully struck free wood from a pretty wintry wet lie. This one drill, so simple to set up. You can all use it. 
going to help you. You can actually use it with other clubs rather than just your fairy woods. If you want to learn how to hit your irons better and strike them better, make sure you watch this video because it carries this idea of low point on. It might help with this as well. Thanks for watching.